Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where we're covering Action Comics 190, The Boy Who Saved Superman. It's actually more like The Boy Who Kept Saving Superman. I'm actually surprised it's taken this long to do this story. We've sort of done this story a few times, but we haven't done it so explicitly and not as apparent as it is here. And you feel like it should have happened way more, seeing that this comic is written for children, and like the kid sidekick has been popular for over a decade now in the comics. So it's surprising that kids don't help him more. I, I guess he used kids to defeat the prankster that one time. Uh, man, those kids were monsters. Here it's one kid by the name of Rodney who keeps saving Superman because Superman keeps losing his powers in awkward moments. Perhaps as many times as there are usual set pieces for Superman. And that's kind of the weakness of the story. I will say it's simple, to the point, and it works. It's just that the usual action in the middle is a little rote and repetitive and not particularly very memorable. I'm not going to hold that completely against it this time because one of them is great. And that is Superman nearly <laughs> being eaten by a shark. And Rodney throws something to him to, to save him. It really speaks a lot that none of the other adults can think of ways of saving Superman. It's just one kid who happens to be around who's, who's thinking this. And the comic legitimately gets me with the twist. Because you expect, and Lois throws it out, that uh, it's Superman trying like to help the kid's confidence or help him win something. You know, many of the other reasons that usually would have happened to explain this in a Superman comic. But no, it is Superman really losing his powers because of Mr. Mixup Pitalik. Yes, the annoying cartoon imp from the fifth dimension has shown up. And he can take away Superman's powers. He should do that more if he's trying to screw with Superman. Now, remember last time Superman had a little more difficulty sending Mr. Mixies back to his home dimension by tricking him into saying his name backwards. But this isn't a story about Superman being a hero. In fact, Superman is not in a lot of the second half of this comic or like the last third, whenever Mr. Mixies ends up showing up in the comic. It's in fact Rodney who defeats him by pretending that he's a massive fan of Mr. Mix Pillick, hanging out with him, and then taking him to an eye doctor to accidentally read off his name backwards, reading the eye chart. Which even the eye doctor, the optometrist, seems to be getting a kick out of when he defeats Mr. Mixie. So yeah, Rodney is a real hero here, and... Maybe not what I read a Superman comic for. I mainly read Superman comics to see Superman save the day cleverly. I think this is an interesting argument when it comes to a hero of a comic. If you really want to see someone else actually save the day. I think it's fine every so often. It's weird when it's like, say, the big event like Doctor Who used to do with the companion saving the day in the finale. Though a lot of those were really great to the companion story arc for the whole season. It would be weird to make a movie where, say, Lois is the one who saves the day at the end because that's not technically what you came here for the movie, but it's audacious enough to work. Let's do this. But for what it is, it's a fine little story. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It has its weak moments. We still don't know how to do Superman action in any way that, that seems consequential or even all that exciting to a story, except when we have Superman nearly eaten by a shark. Because that would be a hell of a way for Superman to die. Okay, that is it from Action Comics 190, The Boy Who Saved Superman. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notification when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Friday is Bat Friday. We're covering Batman story on the Death Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the man tomorrow? Whatever happened to Rodney? He saved the day like three or four times in this story. Where's his comic book? Okay, have a great day.